I would tell myself to do it all again the same way. Um, the amount of knowledge that we've learned, we may not have done amazing this year, but the amount of knowledge we've learned as a team of how motorsport works and how you can push things to the limit. Make, just plan more, uh, take notes of everything that we learn throughout the year so it's all in writing, uh, so you don't make the same mistake twice. Uh, there was a bit of that, you'd have to kind of go back two years to do that, because, um, but yeah, just, make sure everything is done earlier and we don't waste time. We spent a bit of time in first semester dawdling a bit. Um, but we got it together in the end, so it was good. Uh, definitely more testing. More testing before coming to the competition. Yeah, and start designing it faster. Start designing everything faster. Plan for the scrutineering. Do every check at home before and make sure that the electronics is working. Get the CAD done sooner. Yeah, definitely get, get this out. Speak to the speak to the sponsors as much as you can. Make sure they're happy with like the manufac the manufacturing sponsors. Make sure they're on board all the way through and know exactly what's going on and where we're at. Um, so I'd definitely say like try and get uh, try and like familiarise myself with like the area that I'm working with on the working on with the car like as soon as possible because. I think I can speak for myself and I'm sure I can speak for a lot of other people on my team. We took quite a long time to get ourselves up to speed with learning what we were trying to achieve and understanding our parts, our roles, especially like, and not just technically in terms of the car, but like in terms of team working, our responsibilities to each other as well. So try to understand all of this as soon as possible so you can get a head start on what we're doing would be something I'd tell myself uh, if, if I had a chance to go back, yeah. And for me, I would say establishing communication between the team properly, like making sure everyone's on the same page, making sure everyone knows what everyone else is doing, because at the end of the day, the car's quite intrinsic in terms of the areas that like, mesh together. So like engine and diff, sh chassis and suspension, and fuel tank. Like those areas not communicating together can end up having things go wrong, which easily could have been avoided if the two members of the team responsible for those areas communicated in the first place. Yeah. It just saves time and it means you're not here trying to do things that could have been easily avoided half a year ago if the team members just communicated properly in the first place. Manufacture your car in December. Start in December, not January, not February. No. Okay? No. And don't give people too many responsibilities. People can promise you the world and it might not happen. You have to plan for it. You have to plan for people not to deliver. Whether it be by accident or purpose, whatever. You know, sometimes the manufacturers are four months behind on lead times and that's okay. You've just got to plan for it. Yeah. Just make sure you've got it done ahead of schedule. I think my advice would be just time planning. Yeah. Planning time. Lack of cars getting through screw. Yeah. I think that shocked everybody. Yeah. Especially yeah. the, the IMEC E. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do feel bad for the electric teams. I feel like they really struggled, struggled this year team. with transitioning to electric, being new teams, struggling with COVID, getting through screw. I feel like they had a hard time of it this year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, probably invest in that extra space <laughs> out with the uni. Uh, we did try and have a look at getting some extra space, but we thought, well, we'll get, we'll get in soon. It'll not be an issue, um, but it probably would have been something that would be worth it looking back now. Don't bother trying to put a smaller radiator on the car. <laughs> it's a waste of time. Uh, no one's going to meet the deadlines for things no, they're supposed to no, meet. No, 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 no. Just try and get things <laughs> manufactured sad. on day one. No. Try yeah, and get yeah, things yeah. manufactured earlier. Start manufacturing different uh, mm. different concepts. Yeah. And, uh, compare the data uh, mm. together. Yeah. So don't focus so much on the design. Just do the manufacturing. Get yeah. Done. Lots of manufacturing. Oh, yeah, lots yeah, but. Do your design, but test what you've made. Like, give yourself yeah. enough time to actually test what you've made. I think, I think one really of the things that I deadlines. just hammer home, if I could go back in time, is just read the rules. Yeah, yeah. read the rule book. <laughs> read the rules on day one, on day read, two, read, read on day three, on day four, and on day five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, my advice would be the same thing we did this year. Just make sure you're reading the rules. 
while you're making up the car it's much more easier when you follow the rules that have been given by mm -hmm. the eye making yeah. it's easier to go through scrutineering um, so for us we'll just say we'll just keep doing what we started and then we'll pass it on to the next generation yeah exactly. we've we've done very well we've kind of gone uh, measure twice cut once check everything before you before you do what you do yeah Bring your laptop to the business presentation. <laughs> so I do a uh, best prepare to uh, statics. I change all titanium bolt <laughs> and be critical with the roof. Uh, I'd give myself prepare a manufacturing plan earlier. I think if you get hit the ground running early in the second semester you've got a much better chance at um, completing it with on time before your car launch or whatever um, if you kind of go slowly at the start you can find yourself very rushing at the end and um, it makes it more stressful and it possibly you know makes it not as successful so if you start early and have a good plan in place for manufacturing then you're good to go well we had uh, some problems with uh, we had some electrical problems like with uh, definitely with BSPD and we had uh, many brake leaks but uh, I think we finally got a hold of them uh, so now we are setting our goals to start with endurance. The best bit of our cycling in future teams is get building early as soon as you can. I think just be more pragmatic and uh, understand what the competition is actually asking you to do so make sure you have a reliable vehicle get it testing early and come to competition with all the documentation ready be prepared of uh, have a good understanding of what the competition is asking so speak to alumni that have been here before and know what it takes to win uh, and uh, yeah go from there i think yeah stay calm and composed when things get really tough um, be honest with the scrutineers uh, particularly for ev scrutineering because uh, they want to help solve the problems that you have um, and there's a whole range of experience that they have so really being able to utilize them to solve your problems will make your experience at former student better um, yeah that's what I'll give uh, I would tell myself that you think your car is screwed ready but it's not just keep it do keep doing it again and again and again talk to more alumni talk to people who have been to the competition talk to other teams who do well in the competition and make sure your car is screwed ready and everything goes well smooth uh, a bit of advice I would give to myself I'd say Keep it simple, keep as much of the car as it is as possible um, and instead of kind of changing too much on it, um, just try to get some testing in, just get as fast with the build as possible and just test as much as possible. I'd say don't sit around, get on with it. Yeah, I'd just say also design your parts and manufacture it. Yeah. Don't design your parts like you're an F1 team because unfortunately we're not an F1 team so we don't have these, you know, million euro machines to get all our stuff milled and all that kind of thing so just make simple parts pass scrutinering mm -hmm. and then develop from there build what we can with yeah. our budget